University Technical Colleges, or UTCs as they're known, are appearing all over the country. And where we're standing has so much history for the Great Western Railway, so it's only appropriate that Swindon has its very own UTC. And today, His Royal Highness the Duke of York is here to open it. It's a great privilege to have His Royal Highness come to see us today and particularly for um, our staff and students, they're really excited and I think that shows that actually the Royal Family as well as all three political parties actually support the value of vocational and particularly engineering qualifications and training so that the country can meet its skills gap in the future. So we're really pleased to have him along to do the official opening because it does raise the profile of this institution both within Swindon and outside of Swindon that this was a sad and tired part of the railway village and now it's been completely rejuvenated and it now has a long life uh, into the future. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's an enormous pleasure to, uh, to be here uh, this morning. Um, I've seen this UTC grow um, um, from basically the phoenix uh, has arisen out of a, a wonderful old heritage site and to see it completed uh, today, uh, in, 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 the, in the fashion that it has been, is absolutely fantastic and I'm, I'm really, really pleased for you. Swindon Web TV has been watching and following the progress of the UTC since the very beginning and we even met some of the potential students and one of them was Lewis. Now, what about you becoming one of the first students at the UTC? How excited are you about that possibility? Very, <laughs> definitely very. So tell me what you're going to feel like walking through the doors as one of those first students. What do you think it's going to help you achieve? Um, it will help me achieve like becoming a mechanical engineer when I, I grow up, because that's what I want to be. How has this turned out? How does it compare to what you thought? Um, it's turned out how I thought it would go. Um, I thought it was going to be great and a good building to work in. I would quite like to work on steam engines when I'm older because that's what I'm into and this is going to help me because of like all the practicals that we're doing in the workshop on the lathe and the mills. The UTC is playing a massive part in allowing me to get the education I need to go because I want to go study something um, like material science uh, at uni and uh, it's going to be a, a lot of a big struggle when I'm going to need as best qualifications I possibly can but the UTC offers the best uh, opportunity for both practical and a traditional education. This doesn't really feel like school, it feels more like a work environment and it sets us up for to be work ready, which is uh, one of the UTC's biggest attributes, is that they make us ready to go to work and equip us with the skills we need to go into industry and to go into uh, our late, our further lives more prepared than we would be otherwise. Coming to the UTC has been one of the most amazing opportunities I've ever been given. The opening of this UTC today by His Royal Highness really secures the future of engineering in Swindon, especially with talk of another UTC potentially opening in the future. It also secures this, this fabulous historic building. This is Alistair Greener for Swindon Web TV at Swindon UTC.